Hi YouTube viewers and friends, this is Merle Strom. Today I am unboxing and reviewing a Porter Cable 1 4 Sheet Palm Orbital Finish Sander model number 380 with 2.0 amp motor that moves at 13,500 orbits per minute. The box contains an operating manual, a sander with dust bag, and a sandpaper punch. As noted in the box, this has a 3-year limited warranty, a 1-year free service, and a 90-day money-back guarantee. Unfortunately for me, I purchased this from Amazon over 2 years ago on September 14, 2016. I didn't open the box, just put it away in the closet because of my busy schedule at that time. Two years have passed, so I only have one year left on warranty. You'll probably ask why unbox now when two years have passed. Since I'm opening the box for the first time, why not do the unboxing? This year, I really need to work on my back deck to protect the wood from extreme temperatures here in the Midwest. And if I have time left, I'd probably do my front porch as well. If I'm going to spend money on stain, I might as well do a good if not perfect job on cleaning the deck and removing the old stain. I power washed my deck last Saturday, but it needs sanding to smoothen the wood finish and this is where this purchase will serve its purpose. Anyway, I've used this sander for two days already. It is a nice affordable little dedicated sander. Warning, if you are one of those who don't like to read manuals, you'll be struggling in attaching the sandpaper in the sander if you don't know how to do it. However, if you are a handyman, you probably won't have any problem whatsoever. Here is an easy way to do it. You will have to release the clamp by pushing the lever up with your thumb or index finger to disengage from the tab that holds it in place. Once the lever is released, you will have to move it downward to the left to open the paper clamp. Before inserting the paper, put one under the base plate lightly creasing both edges on front and back so you know how much paper goes under each clamp. Insert one part of the sandpaper under the front clamp and close it into the lock position behind the tab on the base plate. Do the same thing on the back. If you are using the dust collection bag, perforate the sandpaper using the paper punch. A 
paper punch is provided to let you perforate regular sandpaper to make dust collection possible. After installing the paper, place the paper punch on the paper so that the tabs at the edges of the punch are against any adjacent sides of the sanding pad. Press the punch against the pad as far as it can go so that the eight points penetrate the paper. If you are using the dust collection bag, make sure you empty it frequently. To empty the bag, press the tab, pushing it upward to release it. To put it back, push it downward until it clicks. The sander can be used with or without the dust collection bag. If you prefer not to use the bag, do not perforate the sandpaper. I noticed that there's not much dust in the bag each time I try to empty it. The dust gets stuck in the hole at the back of the sander. So far, this is my complaint about this sander. Please comment below if you have the same problem. To turn the unit on, press the dust protected switch that has an eye symbol on it. To turn it off, press the opposite side that has an O symbol on it. This week, Monday and Tuesday were the only days I was able to work with this sander for a few hours each day, mainly because it was unbearably hot, awfully windy, very humid, and the breeze was not helping, blowing warm instead of cool air. It rained late Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday afternoon, so I couldn't resume sanding because it takes two days to get the deck wood completely dry. I'm just glad that I was able to take this video last Monday to show you how the sander works. As I have said, this is a nice and affordable PAM sander. The only problem I have with this is with a dust collection bag. It doesn't really collect dusts. They get stuck behind the sander. Hopefully the manufacturer will notice this video and do something about it. Now let me show you the video that I've taken last Monday. Thanks for watching. This concludes my video on Porter Cable 1 4 Sheet PAM Sander Model 380 Unboxing, Operating How-Tos, and Review. 
Hope you enjoy and find this video helpful if you're looking for a sander for your future woodworking projects or in getting information on how to operate this model. If you like this video, please click on the like button below the YouTube screen. If you haven't done so and would like to subscribe, please do so before leaving my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.